whatever happened to Jack Beers? Hello, Steve White, Steve White's 89. Um, yes, whatever happened to Jack Beers of way too much beer? Perhaps he had way too much beer. Um, yeah, I, I met this guy online a few years ago. Um, we were both part of the sort of anti-discovery sort of crowd. Um, and uh, they were talking, the cast was talking at one of the Comic Con type events. And I was in the, um, in the chats commenting. And unfortunately, because a lot of the um, anti-discovery crowd are also a bunch of racist, homophobic trolls, um, they immediately attacked me because um, I made the comment that I thought the guy who plays book was kind of hot. Um, he was the only good thing about the season. Um, and they jumped on me and they were being quite offensive. And um, Jack actually defended me and he actually um, shared my last video, which was about... Um, season three trailer for Star Trek Discovery and stuff like that and was trying to because he was offended by that because um you know he seemed to um think of things like that um and I sort of appreciate that and we sort of just started talking on Facebook and stuff like that and that he seemed nice what he seemed to be was um he seemed to be the Phantom Menace's numbers guy um that seemed to be his thing where whenever they'd talk about, a, you know, Discovery failing that week in the ratings, he'd sort of have the ratings for them to um, tweet out, you know, to Doomcock and people like that. And they often would refer to his site for the numbers and stuff like that. And he'd, you know, research all the trending stuff and where, you know, Discovery wasn't trending, how Star Trek was, you know, getting less hits and that and so forth and all that sort of stuff. And it was interesting. He sort of had a purpose and he had sort of a thing because we've all got to have a gimmick if we're going to, you know, if we're going to be successful. Um... And I don't know, I sort of liked him. And but then something weird started to happen. Um, this is in my opinion, of course, supposedly allegedly. You know, um, I, I just I, I'm you know I'm just talking here. I'm not accusing anyone of anything. But um, certain people seem to just feel a need to hate New Trek and Star Trek Discovery and Picard for the sake of it. Now, there's plenty of reasons to hate the shows for. There's plenty of problems with the shows. But not every episode had all these problems with them. There are a few episodes of Discovery that were actually okay, very few. Um, a couple in Season 2, which are mostly due to Pike. Um, season 1 was trash. Um, season 3 oh, was pretty bad. I, I can't remember if there were any good episodes or not. I don't think there were. Season 4 actually had a few good episodes, particularly towards the end. They seemed to shift some of the issues that they had away from some of those issues. And the, the Star Trek The Motion Picture is sort of vibe that they were giving for the last um, couple of episodes and that last sort of story um, was actually decent. I actually liked the last couple of episodes. I was shocked. I had to admit I actually liked them. There were still some issues here and there, but they weren't major. And the only real issues with the last episode were, you know, political things. And because I'm left, I didn't have the issues that other people had with their obvious, you know, um, leaning there and what they were, their little stunt with Stacey Abrams and that. Um, so... I don't know, I, I kind of liked him. We talked back and forth, stuff like that. But um, there seemed to be a whole group of people, not, not, I'm not talking about Jack, of course, not, of course not, um, who just seemed to hate the show for the sake of it. And when there wasn't an actual reason to hate the show, they just make stuff up. And you'd see them spinning, going around in circles, just trying to find reasons to hate the episode. And you could see them pointing out things that were obvious to explain and ignoring the explanations because they just had to hate on something. And I'm just looking at the going, well, that happened because of this. If you watch the episode, you know that. And it's not actually a mistake or a fault, blah, blah, blah. But they just didn't have anything that week to hate on. But they had to get their video out. They had to feed the audience. And their, their, their crowd, their audience, their, their people, they hate. And they need to be fed their regular dose of left-wing hate. Um, and right-wing propaganda, you know, cleverly disguised as social commentary and culture wars and everything else. So it's, and I'm not mentioning any names here, of course. I'm not talking about Jack, of course, not, not talking about Jack. I'm just talking in general. I find a lot of people have been doing this and I've been calling people out for it. And basically whenever I see it saying, you're just like, they'd focus on like the editing of a particular scene or the way um, a stunt was done as some sort of justification. Well, this is a bad show. This is poor quality show. This is, this is, you know, an example of how, you know, the, 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 the left and all that are like, you know, making bad shows just for the sake of politics and just they would find the weakest things like like I said the editing of a, sh of a scene or the music or the costuming or just the smallest little thing they could find as an excuse to hate on the show that week and I've been calling it out and like with, with Star Trek Strange New Worlds the show is okay it's almost good um, it's hard because it's a reboot and they don't acknowledge it 
and if you watch it as canon, it's horrible. If you watch it as a reboot, it's kind of okay in the way the JJ films were kind of okay in that you didn't expect real Star Trek from them. You just sort of enjoyed them for what they were um, and just watched them once because um, you couldn't think about them. Um, and the series is a bit like that, but a bit more substance. And now there's this whole campaign of going out that, oh, if you don't hate Strange New Worlds, you're a New Trek, you're, you're a New Trek fan, obviously, if you, do, if you don't hate Star, Strange New Worlds. And you can't be a New Trek fan and a Star Trek fan. Well, you actually can. The, the problem with Star, New Trek was it was all bad. If they actually make a good show, you can like it and still be a Star Trek fan because it resembles Star Trek. Um, it's just like I made the example on, online of um, the... Um, the Gold Key comics and, and the DC comics, the Gold Key comics were totally out of their, out of their mind, a, inaccurate, um, because they hadn't seen Star Trek when they wrote them. But they're great. They're a lot of fun. Um, and there are some elements to New Trek that does that. They take the sort of fun things and don't care about why they shouldn't do that. They shouldn't do that. But um, <laughs> So I made that comparison, and I think it's accurate. You can like both. I have on my bookshelf the DC comics and the um, Gold Key comics, and I do like them both. And I like the older DC comics, which are almost as in inaccurate as the Gold Key ones compared to the later DC ones, which are totally, they look just like, you know, they, they're, they, came, they came off the screen. Um, and it's funny because I saw um, our little friend um, ascend to, you know, actually appearing on Doom Cop's show the other day. And I was watching it. I made a few um, comments, but of course they didn't read them out because they only read the super chats that so they get paid for. They don't read just regular people's comments because, you know, they, they're just there about, in my personal feeling, they're just there about money. They don't care about what people actually think or who their actual fans are or criticisms. Um, you know, they just want to get those super chats coming in for the money. Um, and yeah, I, I commented on that and I, I, I commented that perhaps some people. You know, they just need to focus on the hate because if not, they're not going to have, you know, they're not going to be on Doomcock's show anymore. They're not going to get, you know, all the hate clicks and all the hate views and everything. Um, and I was talking in general about these these people, not any one person, not Jack or anything, of course. Never, never Jack. But um, he he suggested I was jealous. And I'm like, no, I, I was offered by the devil to sell my soul years ago for fame. And I decided to keep my soul and my freedom. I can talk about whatever I want. It doesn't matter. I don't need to keep up the hate. There are these people who, they got a lot of views and a lot of money back in, you know, sort of eras of like the Ghostbusters 2016, Captain Marvel, um, um, what was that Star Wars film that, you know, wasn't the best, um, um, The Last Jedi. They, they got a lot of fan subscriptions. They got a lot of um, videos. They made a lot of money from the advertising and um, all the stuff they did for that. But they need something to hate. They need, um, you know, some big drama. They need a, a new um, Captain Marvel. They need a new Last Jedi. They need to keep it up. And if they don't get it, they just make it up. And that's something um, certain political parties do a lot. And people who lean that way do a lot because they actually don't care about right or wrong or good or bad. They just want people to follow them and to have control and have people believe them and think they're right and, and you know, s suckle on their teeth, so to speak. Um, and yeah, um, I just, I don't have to do that. I can just talk about whatever I want. If it gets 10 views, I don't care. I don't need this for money. I, I, it's nice to get money for advertising. It's fun when you get views, that, you know, videos that get 20 or 30,000 views or something. I've only got a couple of those, but, um, it's nice to get money, but it's just pocket money. It's extra. I don't need it. But some people seem to be living off it and they need to have it. And they'll do or say anything to keep that hate running in and keep those people to keep on viewing. And that's the horrible thing about it. It is like, um, it's like being in, um, like, the, the, what is it, the hamster wheel that just keeps going. You have to keep going, 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 because it's a popularity thing and it's a consistency thing. If you don't add, you know, constantly add to that sort of um, hate and give people what they want every day, they just get bored and go away. And then you don't get the views, you don't get the advertising, you don't, you know, you just, you just disappear. I don't have to worry about that because I'm nobody now, so I've got nothing to lose. But some of these people who became really big in the YouTube sort of fan sort of, you know, circle, they're, they're trying to hold on to that. Some people have stalled like Mecca Random once she got um, exercised from um, the fandom menace for some things along with some other women and that and, you know, minorities and that, that, they were, that I, I feel they were, um, you know, targeting and just... There's whole videos and whole articles about that. Um, they've kind of stalled. 
because they're not part of that and they don't try to do that. And one thing I like about Maker is she actually calls them out sometimes now on what they're doing as well. Um, so she's got her own issues, but she's also calling them out on some of their stuff, so I do like that. And I also like that she does, sometimes does Madonna videos, but um, because, you know, Madonna's still relevant. But I'm going to go. But I was just wondering, whatever happened to Jack Beers? Don't know what's got to do with this video, of course, because I wasn't talking about Jack, but whatever happened to Jack Beers? I don't know. I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think, because, you know, I'm interested in what you have to say, and I like to talk about stuff. Um, yeah, that's the fun part about this. Thanks, bye.